Hey guys, this is another request from Hot Chocolate Sunday that I didn't see until just now. I had to go back and look at my messages again. Um, so she was asking about my... Let me read exactly again. Um, your opinion on the psychiatric profession when dealing with ED patients. Wow, that's a big topic. Um, in my experience, and in the experience of a lot of people who suffer with these conditions, um... It is imperative to find a therapist who either is well-educated in eating disorder treatment um, or, even better, is a specialist in working with eating disorder patients. And the reason for this is that um, general psychiatric education or psychology education, depending, um, isn't very comprehensive in eating disorder treatment. And it can be very difficult. Some general therapeutic principles are applicable to eating disorders, but there are a lot of unique issues going on with eating disorders that I do believe seeing somebody who has experience working with ED clients um, is essential. Um, I would definitely, if you have connection with eating disorder patients in your area, whether via support group or online networking like here, um, Ask around for somebody if you have the option to choose your therapist or um, psychiatrist then ask around and see uh, who likes who. The other thing you can do is look online. A lot of times different facilities and clinicians, there'll be online reviews where people can leave comments if they've seen such an individual on how they were able to help them. Also, um, there are different therapies which, you know, different approaches to helping people with eating disorders that can be helpful like cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, these are two big ones that a lot of people find useful, um, anxiety mitigation techniques, alternate coping mechanisms, um, general support. Some people like to look for the origin of the ED, some people say it's better to just who cares why it's here, it's here and let's deal with the here and now. Like, ways that can be helpful. Sorry for messing with my hair. It's like driving me nuts right now. <laughs> it's just like so not cool to do that, but um yeah, so it's a big, huge subject. Um I do think therapy has an essential place in recovery. Um but some advice would be, you know, the things I also mentioned. And also if you have a bad experience, if you don't connect with your therapist don't write it off because therapy is as unique a relationship as any relationship in your life. Each of our cases is unique and each of us will respond uniquely to each therapist and each therapeutic technique. So, and also medications, which I addressed earlier. So I strongly advocate considering therapy, even if you've had bad experiences, Keep searching. There are good therapists out there. There are people that um, can help you and that you can feel safe with. That's another thing that's important to look for if you're looking for a therapist or a psychiatrist. Um, you want to have a appropriate relationship with them. Basically, you need somebody you trust enough to listen to also somebody you can be vulnerable with because real therapeutic progress is going to require that you step out of your comfort zone that you are pushed to a degree that you are comfortable even though it's going to be well I guess that you are willing a degree of discomfort you are willing to take on because meaningful therapeutic progress is going to require you to explore areas that are not easy it's important to remember that eating disorders are a coping mechanism we have developed in order to survive because we don't we did not know or could not find any other effective means for coping with intense emotions trauma loss bullying any of the things or just an inherent sensitivity you know not coping well with emotional stressors life stressors any reason that eating disorders develop so and the other thing that's important is you have to respect this person and trust them. In eating disorder pathology, a lot of us become very good liars 
and very good manipulators. And it's important that you have a therapist that you either do not want to or cannot manipulate. If you want to get better, you need to have somebody who you respect enough and feel safe enough with not to manipulate, not to lie to, so that meaningful progress can be made. Um, another important thing is know the difference between psychiatrists and psychologists or therapists. A psychiatrist has a medical degree. They are a physician specializing in psychiatric medicine. So primarily psychiatrists are not involved in therapy. What they are involved in is clinical assessment and medication prescribing. So some do um, also do therapy, but that's rare. Typically, you will be seeing a psychiatrist for an initial, initial medication assessment and then periodic med checks after that if you need um, different prescriptions or changes in dose, different things like that. A therapist is more for the actual therapeutic work that goes on, teaching you coping skills, addressing underlying causes, building up your confidence, giving you ways to deal with stressors rather than engaging in toxic eating disorder behaviors. Um, so all of those things are important. If there's anything I haven't covered, let me know. But yeah, finding a specialist or somebody who has experience dealing with eating disorders is very, very important. Um, people can be wonderful. There are wonderful, wonderful clinicians and therapists out there who have very strong strengths in dealing with depression, history of trauma or abuse other issues but eating disorders are uniquely all-encompassing so insidious so hard to treat that it is important they have experience with that a lot of people find that therapists who have been able to help them successfully with other pathologies have not been helped let me move this ac drives me nuts um have not been helped by seeing somebody who does not specialize in um, eating disorder treatment so I think that's everything I wanted to say, so I'll go ahead and end here. But yeah, again, if you have any specific questions, please ask. I'd be happy to talk more about it. Much love, precious ones. Be well. Bye.